championships, two All New England awards, and countless other um, opportunities because of it. Joining us today to, dis to discuss this topic, as well as a few others, are some of our contrib contributors. Brother Dr. Abdi Abdul Halim Muhammad, the Regional Student Minister of the Southwest Region of the Nation of Islam, and author Brother Dr. Asad Malik. Thank you all, brothers, for joining us. So I'll start with this first question. We're going to get right into this controversy. Is it unfair for athletes who previously uh, were considered to be males biologically to now who now identify themselves as females? Is it unfair for them to participate in sports that were created for women? I'll start with you, Brother Asad, and then we'll go to Dr. Halim as well. Dr. Asad and then Dr. Halim. Is my mic muted? Yeah, you good. Yeah, I, I do think there is a, a question of fairness as it relates to transgendered athletes participating, uh, transgendered women uh, participating in uh, sports with biologically and cisgendered women. Um, as the uh, report just stated, there were 15 championships, one between uh, 15 titles, one between, I believe her name is Yearwood and uh, Terry Miller uh, over the last year or so whereas uh, cisgendered women have been effectively shut out of those titles. And this affects scholarships to, uh, to the university, as well as it, there, there's an effect psychologically on the uh, cisgendered women who are, the cisgendered athletes who are competing in these, um, in these sports against uh, people who are biologically uh, male, who may have uh, uh, more uh, testosterone production, which leads to, um, more muscle mass, uh, muscle recovery, muscle memory, uh, muscle elasticity. So um, there is uh, an advantage uh, being a male uh, competing against, uh, being a biological male competing against biological female in sports, in my opinion. Thank you, my brother. Now we'll go to you, Dr. Halim. What are your thoughts on this controversial topic? I concur with uh, Dr. Assad. It is unfair. The Holy Quran teaches us that the male and the female are not alike. And so if you have a male physique with female genitalia, or maybe not even female genitalia that has been surgically uh, altered, or you have a female uh, psychological disposition, but you still have a male physique, it is unfair. Uh, even within boxing and wrestling and sports, you have, you have different gradients. You have lightweights, you have middleweights, you have light heavyweights, you have heavyweights. And even in various sports, you have uh, age gradients uh, and you have junior varsity and varsity. So there's always a distinction. And so it, we must know the difference. We must in order to have discernment, you've got to know what is different, what is the same and what is opposite. In this particular case, perhaps there needs to be a class for transgendered uh, persons uh, because the, the United States Constitution uh, and the 14th Amendment says there must be equal protection under the law. But the law of God says that there's a separation of the sexes. and We really don't intermingle like that. And I think it's just unfair to the girls and to the women uh, that this uh, be allowed. Thank you. And so.